Oh my god, she thinks she's the best tarot reader in the world or something. Well, her tarot is kind of amazing. Oh my god, you watch her tarot channel? Of course, after I saw you watching it. Oh my goody goody, oh my god! Oh yeah? <laughs> Talk nonsense and I'll block you. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god, be hey. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me stupid with a bow and arrow, be hey. Capricorn, let's have a look and see if you're on your person's mind this Christmas. What are they thinking over the weekend? Um, I'd like everybody to please keep in mind that you're not watching a personal reading. Okay. You're watching a reading on the internet that's general and open to all signs. Welcome. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for tipping the assistance. They're saying a huge thank you to you. Um, and they are responsible for these videos as well as regulating the comment section. I do not check comments any longer, but my assistance will help if you need it. Hi. Hi, everyone. All right. So just a quick reading here um, to see if... Ooh. Your person's thinking about you this Christmas. I was talking so much, I didn't even realize that I would be overwhelmed by these cards. Of course your person's thinking about you this Christmas. In fact, you're their qu Christmas wish. You're their Christmas wish. You know what I really like about the energies is that this person kind of has a deep respect for you. This is a family card over here. Um, and even surrounded by family, even if they're alone right now, they think of you as almost idealistically, like idealistically, they think that you have qualities that make them feel like family. You know, it's quite, it's quite a deep thought. Um, you could have just met the person still, the person admires something about you that's very solid, which is not surprising for an earth sign uh this is definitely a lot of earth energy your energy coming through here you are an earth sign um, and pentacles are of course intertwined with all of that this is you this is this is fantastic um well <laughs> it's fantastic only for you now for another reading and another sign it would not be um, but of course we know the devil represents your sign i know not all capricorns love that but it's nothing to fear. I mean, really, it's it's the other side of humanity. It is humanness. It is all about our human vices. Um, and Capricorns have a great command of the human condition. So when you see the devil card in this system, it's not talking about anything satanic or anything like that. It's really talking about um, that representation of you and your understanding of humankind. So yeah, I mean, for a lot of you, this person can't help but think of you because this is your birthday season. And um, that brings up some stuff that conjures up some memories. Um, somebody here seems to have walked away. Something seems to have been imbalanced. Um, but despite whatever could have ended, if somebody ghosted somebody or just didn't have enough courage, this person still feels like, they want karma and the universe to do right by you and by the both of you. So there's definitely still a sense of hanging on here. Definitely is still a sense of you being a part of this person's consciousness, if nothing else. Um, I think that you've had a hard time connecting with people recently, Capricorn. I don't know where that's coming from. It's a very internal conflict and only you, absolutely, yeah. Only you independently can solve that. That is not something that this spread is able to address because, you know, you've been at a distance um, emotionally and otherwise with people in your life. And so uh, you have this... 
there's, you know, there's a formidableness about you, formidability about you. And um, on the one hand, I think people admire it. On the other hand, I think it makes you show up as though you don't have a weak side. Um, it's fine for you to keep, you know, certain things close to your chest as that's what's showing up here. Um, but I see that, you know, your ability to express yourself can be improved. I mean, there's certain things you're just keeping to yourself and dealing with alone. You're not asking for help. And if you're not asking for help, I don't know how anybody can help you. Uh, still, you know, the question of this reading is whether or not you're on your person's mind. And I just find it fascinating because you bring this energy, this family energy to this person, this sense of um, longevity in their mind anyway, even if they've just met you and there's a connection here still showing up with a king and queen of pentacles. Okay, let's get to... I don't want a lot for Christmas. I sure do. Can't wait to see what I have for Christmas. Those of you who are joining us, uh, channel members, please remember you do have a lot for Christmas. We have Christmas gifts for you. So if uh, you're coming to the Christmas party, oh my God, when is that? That's tomorrow. Oh, okay. If you're coming, see you there. How about that? See you there. Um, yeah, there's a party for channel members in case you wanted to be a channel member. You can always join. If not, then uh, yeah, join the tribe. Hit subscribe. <laughs> All right, um, getting started. This is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. You have Nine of Cups energy as your first card, Ten of Pentacles as your second. Are you on your person's mind this Christmas? Well, it seems like this person is surrounded by a lot of celebration um, or at least a lot of people wherever they are in the world. Um, they have a wishful, self-satisfying nature about themselves. Um, still, you know, this person has not let go of a longevity theory when it comes to you. Um, when I say that, I mean that in theory, this person sees something about you that's quite solid and longer term. You're not somebody to kind of play with or, you know, keep for the short term. So if they failed to show up, that is their own failure, right? Like if they failed to show up for you in ways that you need, that is something that is on them. Because as far as you're concerned, I'm seeing a lot of self-satisfaction. I'm seeing this yearning, this aching to be in your presence, you know. And again, you know, from, from what I'm seeing in these cards, it's easier to be in this person's presence than to be far away. Yeah. Um, this, the, the connection is just, ha yeah, absolutely happier, um, kinder, more accessible, more, um, ooh, more magical even when it's in person. So definitely this person has a realization of that. And let me tell you something, if that's the case, um, you know, if it is the case that this person needs to see you and is not seeing you, yeah, I mean, they're sad about it. If, if you make it known or if there's anything here that makes it known that two people uh, respect each other, I think it'll make the connection stronger. I think you've been quite patient with this individual, um, but I feel like this individual has also tested your patience. I feel like in some cases a message has been sent, messages have been sent that have not been responded to. And so you feel like you've gotten the shorter end of the stick in some situations. And so you need balance. You need something to be made right. Um, you don't want to waste your time. Uh, you, you've been shy or withdrawn 
but uh, you're still willing to give like you're still you know you watch i think for this person's tone um interestingly you both you know what i think both of you oh yeah i think you would like a lot more action yeah like some clarity here in action. I did see the star card for their, them as well. So you're definitely on their mind. Um, I just see that, yeah, with these wands coming out for you, you definitely like a little bit more action. I think both of you are headstrong folks. You're not weak people. I think this person definitely carrying this energy of the strength card, you know, has a lot on their plate and, you know, they just are so used to taking care of themselves and, they show a different side. They show a happy and blessed and, and magical side when they are in person. Sometimes maybe they may not be so great with, you know, like texting and, you know, messaging and tele telecom. Um, and they know that about themselves. You might have started to pick that up about them. But um, yeah, you're being, I think, despite your shyness around what you really want out of relationships and connections, you're still being level-headed. You're still dealing with your internal conflict. And well, yeah, in some cases, you're still sending messages. <laughs> um, let's get to Pisces. I definitely need to exercise. So hello, Merry Christmas. Let's see, what's on your person's mind this season? Are they still thinking about you? Um, during this Christmas, are you weighing on their mind or is something else the case, Pisces? Let's have a look. Um, hello, Schnookums. How are you? This is Schnookums Land. Let's see what we have coming up for Pisces. Oh, wow. This wants to say something. Why the tower? Jeez Louise, that's a little bit complicated. Oh, the hair font. So my goodness, you must be dealing with somebody who's wildly expressive, a huge sort of all or nothing kind of individual showing up here, um, wanting to say the tower, wanting to say the hair font. I think this person has big, big um, ambitions, dreams. One thing about them is that they, you know, they hold institutions sacred, right? That's what the hair font rules. They hold marriage sacred, institutions and everything under it. So when they don't know where a connection is going and if it will reach a certain level, you know, they probably start to act out a little bit. I mean, they think you're amazing. They think you're beautiful. They think you're attractive. Um, but I don't know what's gripping their tongue. I don't know what's gripping their spirit. I don't know why they're so like careful. Um, they want to be, this person is like careful where they give their love, but certainly when it comes to decking the halls, with feelings for Pisces, I'm seeing some feelings. Yeah, I'm seeing some really interesting, deep thoughts and feelings showing up. I mean, this person is so attracted to you that it's like it's making them so particular. It's weird to explain. It's like they're gripping and confused and yet attracted. But the reason for that grip is because they need to know what these feelings mean for them. Do these feelings mean a lasting connection in love and marriage, especially marriage? Or do these feelings mean a good time? Um, if, you're, if you feel any sort of distance emotionally or physically from them, it's because they're trying to grapple with that, right? These are two marriage cards, the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. And yeah, I mean, this person is doing too much, psyching themselves out. That's why I said it's slightly dramatic because it's, it's like they're psyching themselves out about what it could mean if they feel so much for you, right? Why not just let the feelings rock and roll? Hold on. It's getting a little bit too, too warm in here. All right, I had to drop it multiple degrees. Um, yeah, why not let the feelings rock and roll? Look at how they're, like, they're ruining such a lovely reading with this doubt, fear, masking. And I mean, this is pleasant. Why don't you let it rock it out? So Pisces, that's why a lot of times you might be completely unaware of the scale of this person's feelings. You're probably, you know, just letting things ride, let the universe, fate, luck come through and take care of things. I see you have a little bit of a gap window open, you know, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place and you'd love to kind of understand this person and you've put in the work. Man, you're not even a pentacle sign and you have all pentacles just spilling out today because you're trying to be grounded and to be reasonable and practical. Um, <clears throat> 
and to show up for this person even if it hurts you or if this person doesn't show up for you i think you have to be careful about that because obviously that could lead to some confusion mixed messaging i think you've put in enough work um, I applaud you for letting the universe work and wanting to take control. But something here is obviously a little bit on you, too much on you to bear, especially with that king of pentacles. Um, there's mixed messaging and, and a slight uncertainty. Let this person put in some of that um, groundedness. Since they're so concerned about it, let them demonstrate that there's groundedness in the connection and that that's what they would want from you. Um, even if you're not with them right now, because otherwise, yeah, a conversation is definitely owed. Otherwise, like I said, uh, or like we said in the beginning of this reading, um, this, this tower card still has a role. It still, you know, pops out, you know, out of nowhere, just like it's popping out in your secondary deck, in your secondary pool. Um, it popped out for them and then it was modified by the Hierophant. So they really need to stabilize, honestly. I think you have a lot more stability with the Pentacles energy. All right. Um, Aries, it's your turn. Let's see what we have for you. We are going to do uh, what's on your person's mind this Christmas? You know, are they thinking of you? Are they not thinking of you? Um, I look forward to seeing a lot of you at the Christmas party if you are a channel member. Obviously, if you're not a channel member, then you can join channel memberships. If you'd like to subscribe, you can also sus subscribe. Um, all of those good things are available to you. Um, what else? Yeah. Hello, Schnickums. How are you? This is Schnickums Land. Let's see if you're if you're on your person's my list. Hey, guys. I mean, for four signs straight now. You have been on your person's minds this holiday. I guess holiday season is a good time to think about people, um, you know, you've connected with because, I mean, that's you. You share this with Leo and Sag. You can anyway. And uh, certainly, whoa, deck the halls with balls of holly, right? That is certainly a sled making its way to you. Somebody wanting to, at the very least, wanting to connect with you, missing your fire energy if they're not in touch. And absolutely, Aries, this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> well, if your person's a good person, if not, then too bad for you. They're thinking of you anyway. This is absolutely insane, I should say, because yeah, all of this is just screaming you, 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 you. I mean, this is the emperor and he represents you in tarot. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Um, wow, <laughs> my mind is blown. This is too much now. Okay, we get the point. Um, <laughs> no matter what has gone on between the two of you. Uh, wow, this is, why did this come out together? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously something's gone on because this person is confused sometimes about where you stand. There's some mixed messaging. And then, of course, there's this, you know, withdrawal a little bit. Um, you know, this person's pointing to how that fire energy, that fire that has gone on between the two of you has probably affected the connection. But they all have, you know, this person have nothing but, has nothing but love for you um, with that queen of cups sort of coming out and representing yeah, all of those emotions. It feels like this person is almost making a plea in this reading. Like they're pleading with you. Yes, this is all, you know, that token, that apology, that plea, you know, something is bothering them. They don't like any disconnection, any conflict that has happened, that has left things, you know, chaotic or confusing. And they feel to me a little bit shy or withdrawn with that hermit card, knowing very well that they have these feelings and emotions. I mean, you are still grand to this person and they would love, love, love to do nothing but boop, press that restart and kind of see where you two stand. So very, very interesting there, Aries. Um, you, uh, you know, are showing longevity here, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, I think your next move is, you know, how long term will you be? How long term will you get? Um, you're showing celebration, you know. Um, so even if you're by yourself, get out and celebrate um, because some of you have, you know, been spending some time thinking about the disconnections in your life, the ghosting, the fears that have controlled you longer term. And so 
Um, instead of doing that, instead of, you know, getting this urge to kind of shut everybody out, I think, you know, lean into the temptation to connect. That's what I will tell you, because I'm seeing that it's there. Yeah, I'm seeing that you like that love. I don't care how much you pretend. You like it. You want it. You know, you crave it. It's there. Um, and you're thinking about it in your solitude, absolutely solitude coming out here and here. Um, so I don't know if you actually are surrounded by people or not, but I think you want to be, whether you will admit it to yourself or whether you want to act distant or are distant physically from people, I think it would just make you happy. Now, obviously there's something going on here beyond these cards, beyond um, what this story can tell. I mean, both of you are showing me the hermit card, so both of you are saying something deeper about how you've made each other feel, that disconnect. Um, but I will say to close out the reading that you both have this opportunity, right? Whether you want to take it, whether it will make it happy, that is all up to you. You have an opportunity here that's presenting itself. You both are showing me the Queen of Cups energy. Um, you've been thinking about this person or about people just in general and how you want to relate to them. And if that's coming up, it's saying something. It's telling you something. It's allowing you to do something. And so it's, it'll be up to you as to whether or not both of you want to kind of come out of this hermit mode and do it. Right. Most importantly, like I said to you, the emperor represents you. And guess what? If this person has any value to you, the empress is now coming out to meet the emperor and saying, yeah, I think connection is still there. So will you avoid this conflict that this person keeps referring to in this five of wands energy? And will you allow yourselves to kind of come together, emperor to empress, to figure things out? Um, that's up to you. Now let's get to Taurus. Um, we shall see here. Welcome to the reading, Taurus. We'd like to say hello. <sighs> How are you, my love? I don't want a lot for Christmas. Listen, if you're just joining us and you'd like to be a channel member, you're free to do so because we're going to have a Christmas party with all our channel members. I hope everybody on the West Coast can wake up and join. Um, because I'm concerned. I don't want any of my West Coasters to miss it. Right. Okay. Well, hello. Uh, this is Schnickums Land. Hi, Schnickies. How are you? We're trying to find out if you're on your person's mind this Christmas. Well, it seems like everybody's person is on their mind this Christmas, but let's see to what extent. Okay. Um, cause yours are saying something slightly different. In fact, there's almost a sense of not speaking in the same way that you used to. Um, you know, there's, there's been a bit of a falling out or a bit of a, somebody just feeling quite lost when it comes to you, like not really understanding certain things and, and where you stand and all of that. And so this is a bit of not seeing what's in front of them, uh, feeling slightly abandoned, um, but still um, having a two of wands energy, something strategic, keeping the door open, keeping, you know, themselves, trying to keep themselves slightly grounded away from that splitness away from that split energy that that brings um the door is slightly ajar here um and so is their sense of happiness when they think of you i feel like if they're not around you they're certainly spying and, and trying to figure out um what's up what you're thinking um this person is also fine by themselves they get the impression that you are as well you can do with or without them uh, it's like a take it or leave it kind of situation. I mean, this person, you've definitely proven to this person that you are absolutely more than capable on your own. And so when they think of you, I mean, definitely nostalgia showing up here with some happiness, but uh, emotional distance is also showing up. There's something here that is drifted in a sense and pulled you two together or apart, I should say. Um, and, you know, I feel like this person is in very, very deep reflection with that judgment card kind of coming to sound judgment and figuring out how to navigate. It's like this person is giving me, they're damned if they do, they're damned if they don't. There's something here that could have been in between the two of you, not necessarily a block, maybe somebody had some distraction by a person, place or thing. And yeah, I mean, a, a conversation is definitely owed right now though. It seems like there's less conversation and more silence going on. Right, um, <clears throat> let's see what's on your end. Uh, well, it seems to me like you're very well aware of the issues. You've done something recently that you're probably not very proud of. 
um, but you're taking responsibility and you know you know where your feelings stand I think you're clearing the air you're making room for love in your life however it is it comes you're trying to be positive and just sort of slow down move slowly and judge less quickly when it comes to your person and other people in fact I see you getting a lot more spiritual um, you're in a healing place right now and just, you know, talking to the heavens a lot more or the universe just talking out loud and saying, hey, relieve me, universe of whatever burdens can afflict me in love and in work even, you know, just in life, right? I think a lot of you are eager to start from scratch when it comes to, um, you know, your life and living. Sorry, that's a dishwasher going crazy. I think it's going through a particular cycle right now, making that gurgling sound. Thank you very much, dishwasher. Okay. Um, right. I mean, again, I think there's some history here that ties you to somebody, six of cups to six of cups. And both of you have this respect for each other, but you want more, Taurus. Um, I don't know if it's going to come from this person, but I can see that you want more. This is King Kappa, Kappa Schnooks coming out. A very good omen on this channel. If you're just joining, you can go to my channel homepage and search for the word emergency in the search bar. And you will see this five minute video about Kappa Schnooks, as we call him. He's such a great omen for multiple signs, your sister sign, whom you share Venus with, Libra, he followed for about six months and he's coming out for you right now in this very important reading, because I think you want more. I think you want your own sort of King Kappa, Kappa Schnooks, King of Love energy, and that's showing up. Um, the Queen, of course, is coming out to meet the Queen as well. Both of you are bound in love. There's a lot of emotion showing up here. So a lot of you could have cried recently about something. Lots of tears dropping. Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, all these Cups, talking about the pain and emotion that you've gone through uh, in various aspects of your life. I can see you hurting. I can see you in pain. I can see you sort of grabbing yourself up, as you always do, King of Pentacles. That's you. That represents you. And getting into a space where you're, like I said before, I mean, even a hanged man, the hanged person is a spiritual person that goes downwards, goes in this inertia mode to kind of restrict themselves from doing too much and just kind of, you know, sit still, you know, or hang still for a while to pray, to think, to meditate and to relieve whatever it is that's ailing them. So we hear you, Taurus. We see a lot of burden um, that you've shouldered and we know that you're hopeful with that star card for a new beginning, um, something that will take you to a place of love, King and Queen of Cups there to kind of bless you and you know help you as you go along. Yes, Six of Cups for the both of you means, you know at least for the bottom line, that you both are thinking of each other. Nostalgically, memories being represented by that card. Okay, let us go to Gemini and see what we have for Gemini. All right, Gemini, the question today is whether or not you're on your person's mind for Christmas. Are they thinking about you or are they sick of you? You know, let's see, let's figure it out, kiddo. Um, <clears throat> You know, so far, I mean, I think it's very hard for you not to be on, you know, someone's mind during the holidays, especially because the holidays is a time of quiet and, of course, magic with that magician card showing up here. It does seem like somebody's manifesting you or really their brains are, even if they're not doing it consciously themselves, their brains are thinking of you, whether they want to think of you or not. I just think something is coming out here. Now, for some of you, this person could feel like there is a block that has happened. Um, there's not an entryway to access you, whether in emotionally or otherwise and they could be apologetic about that right wanting to sort of redo things and, and make things right um they may not even have access to send this apology pages are often messengers you know so this person could have intended to send you a particular type of message and then they remain still or quiet and did not do that but in fact king of cups we just finished speaking about this with taurus the king of cups is a great <clears throat> omen on this channel if you'd like to know why and you're just joining you can go to my channel homepage and type in the word emergency in the search bar and you'll see how he followed your fellow air sign libra for a while um, but he's definitely not just an omen on this channel uh, but an omen in general with these cards he is the king of love cups signify emotion and certainly love in this 
instance. Now, he is in the middle of this reading, in the middle of the deck for your love life slash your person. And so love is very important to you. And this person understands that. They're probably thinking of what they can offer to you and maybe seeding that thought. Now, I will say that if they don't feel equipped, they feel like, you know, you two could get along better or do more and they, you know, just kind of start with a clean slate. That's definitely on their mind right now. This is that clean slate that's pressing that restart button and seeing what they could do to sort of restart things with you. Um, I feel like for some of you, there's been an interruption in this connection. Something was, was on its way and then it was interrupted. So um, that's showing up. I mean, a person, place or thing could have gotten between the two of you and that is causing this person to feel that sense of conflict. Um, I also, well, listen, you're putting yourself first. I love it. The lover's card is definitely all about you. I think you're putting yourself first. You're um, understanding your needs and wants. You're standing strong. You're not anybody's punk, not with that king of pentacles. Um, you're not taking the same excuses that you used to because you've gone through enough stress and hassle when it comes to love. And so right now your ideals are sky high, right? You're, you're pushing yourself out of a place of a lack of self-confidence and now you're getting more confident. I don't know if this is coming from a choice that you've had to make recently or from a voice that you've heard recently. Yeah, maybe someone from your past, maybe a childhood friend, you know, kind of stepping up and saying, Gemini, this is what you deserve. And you're kind of remembering yourself and you're like yeah you're right that is what I deserve that is who I am that is how far I've come and so now I'm seeing you put a lot of work into yourself and into really really rebuilding yeah that sense of balance right that sense of confidence that you feel like maybe you've lost by working too hard doing too much exerting too much of yourself in situations right so there's conflict here showing up um you could have gotten into something uh, argumentative with someone that you're still thinking about it doesn't have to be your person but certainly again a lot of people I see in these readings are telling me ace of pentacles give me that new opportunity to rectify the wrong right to recover from things that have been tumultuous that, that have been you know that have signaled a lack of peace and uh, a lack of balance and Gemini I think you're coming forward and you're saying yeah, there's a lot of work that you need to do on yourself. Nines, of course, being very independent numbers in tarot. And so you're sort of working on yourself independently, right? And as your card over here signifies, you're choosing yourself. The lover's card is not just about soulmate energy. It's about choice making. And it's really interesting because rather than choosing between two people, you're choosing between yourself and love, how love is going to treat you. Again, nine of pentacles, another independent solo decision that you're making. It's making you stronger. Um, it doesn't erase your history with someone. It just means that whatever it is that got in between the two of you here, three of wands to three of wands, three is always being a crowd. You know, it's not going to take over your mind as it did before, right? I see it did before. Definitely. We're speaking of that nine of swords energy. Yeah. I think you just want to sort of, you know, press that restart and do something uh, different with this new opportunity. Ace is always being that opportunity for newness. It's always a new beginning right okay now let's get on with cancer hello cancer and welcome to the reading okay so we kind of want to investigate want to see what's happening whether you're on your person's mind um when it comes to this holiday season are they thinking of you what's going on um, can we explore that? Of course, keeping in mind, this is a demo reading. It is not a personal, but we will explore and see whatever parts uh, anyone out there wishes to resonate with. Um, for those of you who are channel members, don't forget the uh, Christmas party will be tomorrow and I'll see you there. And for those of you who are not, you're free to join uh, channel memberships and join us at the party as well. Welcome. This is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. Let's see. All right, you have a magician card as well. Lots of people starting with the magician card today. Well, one or two signs, I'll say, uh, besides you. And I think that's because there's a lot of magic, literally, in the air. But also um, because you know there's there's been a lot of time now to sit and manifest you know, someone in your life, right? To think about them and to really want to break these chains. Now, this person is very funny because they're literally talking about breaking certain chains and shackles to rush 
towards you. Whatever chains and shackles they're speaking about, we don't know. Um, but they definitely feel like something's guarded here, something's blocked, and they want to break out of that gushing like water energy, except this is fire. They want to gush, you know, and uh, with that Eight of Wands fire card, really, really move very quickly in your direction. Um, it feels to me like maybe there's a stubbornness that pre prevents a lot of that connection. A lot of that flow through, we will say, um, you know, or if it's not stubbornness, it's just really a, uh, something preventing something from, you know, going past that block. Um, I think your person is willing to give a little bit more than they've given in the past, but something is still hanging in the balance and a decision, a, a proper decision has to be made about how they want to treat you moving forward without them saying concretely, this is the way, this is what I want to do. Yeah, they're the ones creating that block because all of this conversation has to really almost be initiated by them, right? You're showing up here. Obviously, the chariot is you. There are a lot of readings today where people are really honoring their person in a way by bringing up their cards so for example the Aries cards uh, on the person's side you know they brought up the Emperor because Emperor represents Aries you are bringing up now the chariot on your person slash love life side and so definitely this person is honoring you but I think there are no excuses this person has to open their mouth say something break a block and really make this decision here with this two of pentacles about what they would like to do without them saying it outright rightly they cannot do right by you right which is what they want to do with that justice card they want to do right by you all right let's see what's on this end um yeah i mean i think a lot of you feel like you've given all you can give you've been very charitable here with that six of pentacles energy you're open to more but you felt like the more you've tried in a certain direction the more conflict it's brought for you so now you're getting yeah i think a little bit more prayerful you're getting into this mode where you know you're taking your time in prayer in spirituality and um, you're casting aside anything that is pedantic yeah high priestess energy with the temperance also showing up there you you're definitely getting into a more elevated space allowing new opportunity to come into your life not wanting to do anything petty because it's brought you pain and emotion yeah wow look at you wielding that sword you're not even a sword sign you are a water sign but you're definitely you know mothering yourself now as you do others good for you elevating with this high priestess i like that you're saying the much you've given to others you're now willing to give to yourself if that will prepare you for your person this can't be a more beautiful reading for you specifically the emperor has come out to meet the empress these two belong together like divine counterparts and it's a very powerful statement that you're making especially as we start the new year right new beginnings for you ace of swords ace of pentacles yeah aces always signify new beginnings and i think you've heard it first i think you're going to get into a relationship if you're not in one now the chariot coming out on both sides but again a block here being symbolized by this two of swords energy on both parts there's a lot of work to be done in terms of purging a person that has not said what they need to say a person that has caused you confusion and mixed messaging um yeah if they don't get themselves together and if they don't clear this block that they're talking about which i think they're responsible for more than you then i, I don't think things will move forward uh with them but i do think things will move forward generally speaking in both of your lives you both have the chariot showing up the chariot always takes you from one stage of your life to the next and it honors you because obviously this card represents you in tarot i say you're ending on this note of a relationship of a coming together with somebody who is on par with what you need this is definitely a more elevated status you've thought about it high priestess energy you've gone into your silence and guess what the more you pray the more you meditate the more you think about what you want in terms of that empress and emperor the more likely it will be yeah that you will have these new beginnings so so you heard it first, like I said, 2024, you're probably going to take something by storm and someone is going to try to take you <laughs> by storm as well. All right, moving right along to Leo. Let's see what Leo has coming up. All right, Leo, thank you for being here. This is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. I hope you're all well. Um, it's good to see you. It's good to... Um, connect with everybody who's a channel member even if you're not 
a channel member, you can always join channel memberships on any level, right? Um, you don't have to join the personal reading level if you don't want to, but that's really a great level to be a part of if you if you do want to. Um, others of you just want to say hello and uh, thank you for everything. Um, thank you for tipping the assistance. Thank you for supporting the channel. We really, really appreciate you. I'd like to see you at the Christmas party if you're one of us, if you're a channel member. Otherwise, join the tribe. Hit subscribe. Welcome to Schnookums land and hello to my existing shookums all right listen for almost every sign today when we've asked this question about whether your person is thinking about you during this christmas we have had a card that represents that sign show up and it's so beautiful and so sacred and it's so magical we've had the emperor card show up for arians we've had even the previous sign for cancer we have the chariot card show up for cancer we have the lovers card show up for gemini and now we have the strength card showing up for leo speaking of the emperor some of you are dealing with an arian energy and i don't know how you could deal with that because that's a lot that's intense two fire signs and um, but no i mean i definitely don't call out signs when i'm doing these readings because you know you're going to get every sign in every card it doesn't make any sense um and of course one person can have multiple signs so again uh, I think the key thing here is that you're getting lots and lots of um, major arcana cards, you know, sort of popping out. You have the Emperor of the World, the Strength card also um, coming out. Um, so I think that you might experience major changes with this person very soon if you haven't already. Obviously, this is happening on the universe level. And um, this person is very self-conscious about certain things that could, that could have shifted in your connection or that can shift potentially. So even if it's not shifting right now, it's like they're worried about the future, right? And want to keep a space with you. Boop, yeah, Ace of Pentacles opening that door to new beginnings, right? I don't know what's shaking this person up in this way with the tower card why they're so scared but they don't need to be um you know because if if you fancy them and they fancy you there's a way to sort of make things happen and make things work always but it feels like this person's gripped by fear now in terms of answering the question of whether they're thinking of you absolutely yeah i mean you're the first card you know they definitely think of you this uh season and they definitely know that there's a lot of work to be done if your connection is to make any sense right so eight of pentacles that labor card Card coming out telling them man I mean if they want to contribute to a connection with you they will need to yeah do much more than walking away and leaving you hanging they'll do much more than sort of like shirking responsibilities and they'll have to sort of return reunite with you three of cups energy celebrate with you even the six of wands is a return um they know all of that so I mean if this chariot brings them back that's great you know they can come in on that chariot and if not obviously something here is pained yeah in this person's reading it's like they, this person this person feels very pained to me because they are afraid of a disconnect with you they want to hold fire uh with you in more ways than one now of course this eight of cups is also coming out in your end as it did for them so obviously somebody here has felt this fear of or this actuality of somebody else turning their back on them it feels to me like, you know, there have been messages to kind of repair a certain situation or to keep a certain situation from happening and that's showing up and everybody kind of wants to be in the other person's good grace. Now, Leo, I see that you are the talker here, or at least you will be very soon. You might need to explain why there's some guardedness in this connection. You might need to explain why, um, you know, having a little bit is not going to be a, a lot for you, right? You're going to have to tell this person, yeah, your impression of me and what you have to give, Six of Pentacles energy is not wrong. I'm not going to settle for crumbs. I am Leo. So you're going to have to maximize what it is we can do here. So I think you're thinking of that right now and you have a lot to clear up and clarify when it comes to people who deal with you in general but um yeah some of it makes this person feel worried um your worry over here about what this person can contribute to you is worrying to them i think on a very raw level there is a connection here the king of wands has come to meet the queen of wands and that's something but on another level i think both of you um, are saying kind of similar things you leo with some of your words i don't know if you need to watch them 
okay, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but there's certain words that are being said that can be very intimidating. And it's like, this person is thinking, okay, what can I give? What do I have to give, right? With that six of pentacles energy, it's all up to you how you keep someone or not in your life, but definitely something here could be said that can be intimidating, especially when it comes to what, some, what somebody else has to offer you. Um, I did see the chariot peeking itself out. I didn't pull it here, but I saw the chariot sort of peeking itself out on your end as well, because it feels to me like you're trying to get somewhere in life and you want someone who will be on that same page. This person knows that. And maybe in your confidence, in your expression of where you want to get in life, this person may want to go with you, but may not have all the tools, right? Especially when it comes to love and marriage. So who's going to be the teacher? Who's going to be the lever? Who's going to be the returner? That's a lot to work out. And I think this story is still going. All right, um, let's get to Virgo. Virgo, welcome to the reading. Hello to my existing Schnookums. This is Schnookums land. Great to see you. Great to have you. We wanted to find out in this reading, uh, if you're on your person's mind uh, this Christmas, what they're thinking, how they're thinking about it, and, you know, just kind of go forward from there. So let's see what we have for you, Virgo. Um, hello to my existing Schnookums. This is Schnookums Land. If you'd like to join us for the Christmas party, please make sure you're a channel member because that's going to be a requisite. But if not, you can always just join the tribe, hit subscribe. Everybody is starting with the magician. What is going on? Okay, speaking of Christmas magic, right? Turns out, listen, you're on your person's mind. What else do you need to know? Yeah, that's what's showing up. Oh my God, this is very heavy. The hair font card is uh, colloquially speaking a marriage card in tarot and that's showing up. These are major arcana cards just kind of speaking in this connection. Um, oh my goodness. Something here has already ended and somebody's just sort of silently replaying it, thinking about, say, um, wondering whether they should have walked away or you should have or, and this and that and the other. And so it's very heavy energy. It's not mild. Um, but I will say that the universe is at play here with those major arcana cards. Major arcana cards symbolize things that happen on the universe level. Somebody could have told somebody off, you know, and uh, that can create a certain level of fear. It can prevent communication from happening, even though she is the queen of communication who makes communication happen, right? Somebody here could have ghosted or just acted in fear. They want to redo things. They're thinking of you. And uh, like another sign that I had read, this person is taking institutions, society, societal opinions and expectations very seriously. The Hierophant represents those institutions, uh, particularly the marriage institution. So this person is definitely taking things seriously, being very grounded. Somebody could have cussed somebody else out because of the realization of some, you know, another presence in the connection. Um, otherwise, this person can have two sisters, two moms, two influences that are feminine in their life, just kind of, you know, telling them what to do when it comes to a connection with you. I mean, they're manifesting energy here that's, you know, not just theirs, you know, if I'm frank. I, I see other people in this person's mind, in this person's head, just kind of telling them things about you, which is why you're probably getting a wishy-washy output from them sometimes. I don't know that they mean it. I just think, you know, the conversation needs to happen with you, and then that's when the connection will make sense. The queen has come out, of course, or the king has come out to meet the queen, and, you know, this is an entourage, when it makes sense, when the two of you talk, yeah, king of swords, queen of swords, knight of swords, these three together kind of make sense when they have each other's backs. When it gets tough is when they have to listen to the presence of others or, you know, just be in and out because of the presence of others. So there's a lot here to balance out. I agree, Virgo's person. Let's see uh, what's going on with you and... The messaging okay right i find that very interesting that the king would come to meet the queen right i find that very interesting that you're not actually closed off to the possibility of um yeah 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 you're not actually i would say i would say that you've been through you know quite a bit with this person right but you know despite this look this is toxicity i know that right it's toxicity showing up and and you know 
Right, right, right. Um, with, with the entrance of this many court cards, you could have experienced people who tried to interrupt the connection, like I said, over here. Yeah, there's a lot of interruption from others, not just you, not just you and this person. And I think maybe that could contribute to that level of toxicity because it doesn't have to be there. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's what I was going to say. You're not actually so upset with this person as a result of what you yourself have been through with them. I think some of this influence is coming from outside forces. Some of it is like, because for you to start with the King of Pentacles, I mean, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot for you to kind of stand up and say. And then for the Queen of Wands to come and meet the King of Wands, that's a lot as well, you know, um, just doing that. And <clears throat> has, I'm sorry, let me, okay. Yes, that's a lot as well as I was saying. Um, I do think that you feel misunderstood. Yeah, you feel misunderstood and you play some negative thoughts in your head. And so you don't let people in. Yeah, not with that seven of wands, definitely. This is your defense mechanism showing up in this reading. And you're just like not really feeling heard because there are a lot of decisions that you've made to try to get yourself in a good uh, love situation. And, and you found that you've had to do a lot of cutting off. Your person has probably done some cutting off too. You two could have cut off each other or you could have told each other off in, in a sense. But at the end of the day, I think there's reason. Reason can still win here. Um, and, you know, there's certain things going on in the universe level, like I said, that will bring you two together or not. So, yeah, I mean, you're at least on your person's mind, right? Regardless of all the stuff that has happened between the two of you. All right. Um, let's get to. Let's get to Libra. Hello, Libra, and welcome to the reading. Let's look at this connection that we have going. Are you on your person's mind? Especially as far as this Christmas is concerned, what thoughts are they having? Um, ooh. Let's have a look. If you are a channel member, I look forward to seeing you at the Christmas party. That will be great. Um, it is tomorrow. It is on Christmas Day. So I look forward to seeing you there. Um, definitely you can join channel memberships if you want to. And if not, you can always hit the subscribe button, join the tribe, hit subscribe. Hello, everybody. And welcome. Yeah. Hello to my existing schnookums. This is schnookums land. Let's see about your person and what they're thinking of you right now. Um, I don't know that this is particularly straight, but you know. I can't really see. I can't see that well. Um, let's hope it is. All right, let's see. Shout out to everybody who's helped this channel, who's supported the channel, tipped the assistance, all of those things. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Um, right, so my goodness, you, you, you two may have left things in such a mess that this person is really you know considering that you know to repair anything yeah they'd have to work really hard oh my god that's a lot of hard work with those pentacles um wow oh wow that's a block right there you know whether it's an emotional block or just you know a change in the reception between the two of you this person is very well aware that certain things cannot go down um and they're conflicted about it. They don't know if in the upcoming year they should do something. They're hoping that telepathy, <laughs> by way of this high priestess, clarifies certain things for them. Because they, I, I, it doesn't look to me like they know. It looks to me also that some of this blocking is coming from another person, place, or thing. You know, there's something here that's getting in their way. The threes are popping up. And so it's funny because for some of you, you have somebody who's thinking about you while being with somebody else. That's the first scenario. In the second scenario, even even if they're not with somebody else, they feel like um, there's something in your connection that could use repair, that could bring uh, you know you two a lot closer together. They're not shy about saying that. They're not shy about saying how things have you know contributed to the connection that could yeah that broke either their heart or yours or both of yours. So this person is being real, right? For the first time, this is your reading is actually showing up as real. Your reading is showing up as real, 
Tell me the real, tell me what's really going on. And this person is not sugarcoating and they are acknowledging the mess, the confusion, the conflict, um, the possible entrance of other distractions, entities, places, or things, um, you know, and they're just keeping it real in this reading. And some of you have been devastated in the past to learn that people have not treated you in the ways that you would have been, you know, you would have appreciated being treated. And so you're healing yourself you're going through this process of self-healing self-medicating in a spiritual way not hopefully not in an actual literal way you guys know i'm very much against every kind of <laughs> drug and medication unless absolutely required by a professional doctor um so yeah i mean you have this you know sense that you are independent and you have to rely on yourself and you can't trust people because you know even when you are in a connection with them in a relationship with them you felt like you've had to stand strong and you felt like you know time has been ticking wasting even because you have longer term goals to accomplish and you'd rather accomplish them with other people i get that now i will say that this is the first reading in this entire spread that has brought quite a bit of turmoil um you know i'm seeing of course as usual with libras always having kings in their reading um but that's primary that's secondary it's not primary um i will say in this reading for the first time libra i'm seeing that there's so many threes I mean, so like an overwhelming number of threes on both parts. Now, of course, there are only four threes in each suit, but <laughs> um, I mean, this is a lot, right? Because we're talking out of eight, we have five. And really, it's funny because for a lot of you, this is bittersweet. Some of you were really, really good with your person when you met in real life, in person, not over text. Okay, not over the spying, none of that. In person, hanging out, doing things together in the flesh, celebratory. Both of you really, really uh, are really excellently well paired when it comes to having a good time and connecting and talking. I think both of you want to do your best in that regard. Um, however, with what this person is saying about these threes, I see that there have been interruptions in the Malay, there have been interruptions in the Swahe, interruptions between you and your person, okay? <laughs> um, and um, that's not sweet, that's not nice, it's not what Libra would want to hear because Libra definitely sugarcoats a lot with these readings. This is the most raw your reading has been because your reading and your person are actually finally, right, just acknowledging the mess. As they're thinking of you, they're thinking of the mess and they know that there's a lot here to clean up. There's no sugarcoating around that. All right, let's get to Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to the reading. Um, lovely to see you. Okay, so if you are a channel member, I will see you at the Christmas party. It'd be nice to catch up with you. Make sure you show your face. Um, that's going to be great. Um, if you're not a channel member, you're free to always join, you know, by clicking the join button and, uh, yeah, I'll see you there. If you'd like, you can simply subscribe. Subscribing is fine. Join the tribe, hit subscribe. Um, and other than that, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Everybody who's tipped, the assistants say thank you from the bottom of their heart. They don't have to do this. This is not in their job description <laughs> at all. <laughs> But, you know, they want to and they've helped me quite a bit. So you're only get, getting these videos as a result of them. So we really thank you. We're really very happy for that. All right. Um, welcome to Schnickums Land. Hello to my existing Schnickies. Uh, is your person thinking about you this Christmas? Well, I think they're thinking about a lot of things. Um, somebody here is missing you quite physically. Not emotionally. I'm not getting emotion with this combination. But they're doing a lot of reflection um and just kind of seeing the gaps that happened um in your connection with them over time they're you know recycling old issues if i'm honest i mean things that have already been hashed are being rehashed again in their thought process and 
Um, I think most of you have had a closure issue with this person and that showing up. I mean, this person is tortured by what they've done. It remains on their mind. You know, they, they're tortured about how things have unfolded and whether, you know, they can redeem themselves. I think too much already has been said. It cannot be placed back into a box. And this person is aware of that. Words can cut. You know, some of you, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who you're not even speaking to, and it would take, yeah, a regeneration of, you know, everything, a reconnection, everything to really deal with the slices, the cuts um, emotionally that have happened here. And somebody is really acknowledging that. So, yeah, for some of you, this person is not speaking. There's a lot of silence showing up here with this hermit card, with the high priestess. But I will say this person secondarily, you know, has made time to sort of think and spy, you know, a spycraft card showing up, four of swords also showing up, king of, king of wands showing up, that queen over there, which tells me that there was a, a little bit of an electric connection here, like something was very heated and electric, and then it crashed. Um, Scorpio, the person seems to be blaming you. The death, of course, represents Scorpio in tarot, but I think they are slowly coming around to, okay, maybe there was something I could have done better. Yeah, Seven of Swords, definitely deception. Um, somebody could have run into trouble with the law here, justice card showing up in the secondary term. Uh, behind that six of swords that has caused this drifting, right? That separation energy. So this person knows, you know, physically that they're attracted to you, but they've been thinking about a lot more. Um, I would like them, you know, or maybe you might like them to dig a little bit more deeply and get into the emotional side because I see absolutely no cups coming out for them. And that's probably part of the problem. They really, really need to develop their emotional intelligence, Scorpio. Okay, I mean, you've been spying as well. You know, it says, obviously, watching tarot. Well, uh, who, who doesn't, right? Who doesn't spy in some sense? Um, you have that Page of Swords energy showing up as well as the Three of Wands coming out now. And um, I think you're finding a lot of satisfaction in yourself. And I think you're just waiting to embark on something new. Some of you might be starting a new program, something educational. You're waiting to start a new trip or something that's new that will be satisfying to you. I think you've worked so hard. And, and need to give yourself props for that. Yeah, I mean, whatever you do will take you to the next level on that chariot. It could be, like I said, a new educational opportunity or even a new job opportunity. And you, you've definitely worked hard to plant the seeds for, for, uh, for that. Again, justice card coming up for some of you. Uh, this is getting into the legal realm. So somebody here could either be dealing with that or be dealing with paperwork. Um, somebody here could be an actual attorney, lawyer, solicitor, uh, barrister, somebody who deals in that industry and uh, has to talk a lot for a living and or has to talk a lot for a living. Um, as a result of that, maybe you might meet somebody in that industry or maybe you might have to deal with paperwork concerning the uprooting or advancement of your life, your everyday activities. These are everyday cards, very minor arcana cards showing up here, except for these two major ones that are talking about you advancing. So uh, you know, as long as you continue to play nicely with the universe, the universe will give you what you need. Right now, there's not a lot going on with your love life in terms of you getting the level that you need, right? This is like, it's still peas and potatoes when it comes to your person. Um, they could do certainly a lot more, but it seems like you're not even concerned, right? Not with these cards, not with the four of cups, not with, you know what I mean? You're not even concerned whether they step up, step up or not. You're like, listen, love will come when it comes right now. You're being very practical. You're remaining very much on the minor arcana level. I think they are as well. I think both of you can do a lot more in terms of working on the emotional intelligence whenever it is that you deal, deal with any partner. This person lacks that, the person that we've picked up today lacks a lot of emotional intelligence and are really best in the physical realm. They need to kind of work on that emotional side, especially you being a water sign, right? Okay. Um, let's get to um, Sagittarius. All right. Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the reading. I want to say hello to all of my schnookums. This is schnookums land. Obviously, if you are a channel member, I'll see you at the, at the Christmas party. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. Make sure you're there. Um, and for those of you who are not channel members, please be sure to join channel memberships simply by clicking the join button. That'll get you where you need to go. 
Um, and if you would like, you can join the tribe, hit subscribe. Either way, there's so many options. Okay. So the question that we're dealing with today is whether you're on your person's mind this holiday season. Um, it's a good question. I mean, you know, now people are winding down and they're able to think about everything that's happened during the year. Um, your person incidentally, by the way, thank you everybody who's tipped the assistance. Thank you for helping. Um, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to say thank you. I mean, you'll probably get an email anyway, but just want to thank you and say, uh, you know, we're very, very grateful. And the assistants wanted me to extend that to you. They are, this is not part of their job description technically. So they helped me to get these videos published and it's a huge responsibility. So thank you for tipping. Um, anyway, back to your reading, I would say, you know, this person is being slightly pensive here. I mean, the swords rule thoughts, logic, communication, discourse, all of those things. They rule information. Um, this person has been working on something that will take them to uh, a different level next year. So I don't know if you're going to still have access to them next year. Right. Because I mean, this person is trying to level up, um, you know, so I think your access and connection to this person might change. You may want to be aware of that simply because I, I'm not picking up in this particular reading and in what they are thinking about right now, right this very minute. I'm not picking up that they're thinking, oh my God, yeah, let me just, you know, fantasize about Sag all day, all day. No, they're thinking, let me fantasize about money, my new beginnings, taking over the world, you know, enjoying a leap of faith over here, um, you know, just plunging into those pentacles, as we say. So, I mean, it's, it, it, listen, the things that motivate people are the things that motivate them. This person right now is motivated by stature and money and power. And some of that can cause a little bit of a disjointed feeling when you interact with them. You may have said to yourself recently, man, this interaction feels a bit disjointed, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that's because um, this person is battling their own demons, their own fights. They're fighting their own fights. You have definitely some conflict showing up here, even some outside chatter with the five of wands as well as the five of cups. There's some outside chatter that's influencing how this person sees things, how they see things with you long term and so on and so forth. They're thinking about themselves. I mean, long story short, um, again, which causes that disjointed feeling. Um, they're sorry about it, but obviously this is somebody who is taking a defensive stance. Even when you, you approach them, something here is uh, creating that block or barrier. I'm not going to pull that out because it came um, doubly, but it had something to say. Uh, and I think it actually demonstrates how this person feels because on the one hand, there is that seed, that page, uh, princess of cups, that seed that's still there of emotion, but they're not prioritizing it, right? Uh, the page already isn't on such a small level. It's on, on such a seed level. What they are prioritizing on the king level um, would be those pentacles. Um, now, right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You, you may be feeling, like I said, not just disjointed as I already said, but, um, this drifting apart, right? The six of swords energy, there's a bit of a drift there, uh, a distance being forced upon the connection, whether that distance is physical or emotional that's showing up. Um, interestingly, while you have secondarily this death card, which may mean for some of you that this might be done coming uh, 2024, especially if there's somebody else involved with, you know, this, you know, three of pentacles, really sometimes they are interested in getting along and working together with you. But for some of you, this is the death card, literally. I mean, this is the death card. For others of you, it's interesting how this message is coming across because it's saying that something might close, right? It might need to close, might be forced to close as this person, like I said, is thinking about themselves and working on themselves. But once they're finished working on this and working together with other people, something new with this ace of wands might recharge again and still hold on to something they built with you that's strong, that's respectable, that they're manifesting. Um, so it's a very interesting energy, especially because the queen of pentacles has come to meet the king. It's a very interesting way for them to leave the door open and for them to really still consider you, given that they are battling so much in their work life or in their other life outside of romance. Um, let's see what kind of take you have on all of this and whether it computes.
Right. I mean, for you, I think you're taking the stance of the stance of self-respectability. You're not groveling. You're not begging anybody. Oh yeah, absolutely. You're like, oh, bump whatever it is you have to do, go ahead and do it. Uh, I don't know whom you thought I was, yada, 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 but that will be the last time that I face heartbreak from anybody. So when you deal with anybody, whether new or uh, existing, you have this stance of, I'm not the one, um, come correctly because I'm not budging from my stance or standards anymore, right? Like I think you've learned a huge lesson this year about love and about how you want to be approached, right? About what will make you happy as that sun card is revealing, um, you no longer have a blanket trust of people, not with the seven of swords. You're aged, you're matured, see? Your wisdom showing up there in that card and you are focused yourself on work because you don't want this person to think, oh, okay, so you're seeking power and then I'm just a bum? No, 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 no. You're like, I'm not a bum. I'm doing my thing. And so both of you, you know, it's really interesting. Both of you um, at one point were probably a lot more playful. And right now I'm just not, I'm not getting that sense of playfulness anymore. I'm getting that sense of like something coming to a head, something, you know, causing you to take something seriously, you know, to question the path the future, the work that you put in, your happiness, the heartbreaks, the scarring, the battle scars, the baggage that you've really, really learned from and are recovering from this holiday season. I applaud you for it. I mean, again, wisdom makes us almost cynical and that's what's happened here. This is your wisdom and this is your cynicism just kind of coexisting. But I'm glad to see this Knight of Cups here because it means that at the end of and at the end of the day, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And everything that you've learned from your heartbreak with that three of swords energy will actually prepare you to move forward in love. Right. And I think your person respects you for it. They're just going through whatever crap this is. Who knows? I mean, a myriad of things showing up here as this person tries to ascend, tries to build, tries to do whatever it is they want to do in their career and in their image when it comes to others. So you have that showing up. I mean, they're looking for their person, not just in love, but also in work. You know, that's, that's this person's game plan. They want a partner that's not just romantic, but, um, career suitable for their career, if that makes sense. Um, very interesting journey. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us and I will see you next time. If you've joined us today, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move on to the next sign. And that sign is the peace sign. All right. Sagittarius had the longest reading today. That's crazy. All right.